For many parents, especially parents of teenagers, their number one complaint is this, that they feel that their children don't respect them. A new book, Parenting 2.0, Think of the Future, Act in the Now, touches on some of the reasons that our young people seem to disrespect us and how we can handle it. Joining me now is the author of that book and a licensed therapist, Trisha Ferrara. Oh, say, Trisha, so I think about, you know, my generation, I never speak to my parents the way some young people speak to theirs. Why is that the case these days? Yeah, amazingly, this is the number one complaint for most of the parents I work with, that children don't respect them. They treat them with disrespect. And I know that the culture is putting a lot of pressure on these kids to behave like adults, right? And they give them this language that's kind of snarky and sassy, which we know is far from what an adult really means. And they're using it to get their needs met, and it's really putting everybody out in the weeds. That certainly is. So what kind of advice do you have? I mean, give us a, a process about how right. a parent can handle this. Well, first of all, don't take things personally, okay? It's <laughs> really hard to do. <laughs> know, it is. That is job one. <laughs> but you really want to coach your children to be more aware of what's going on inside. Look, you're upset. You're frustrated. That doesn't mean you lob a verbal bomb at me or use me as a verbal punching bag, okay? You want to make sure that they know how to handle themselves in highly charged moments. You know, when we do take things personally, we become their emotional people peers and then they don't look to us as someone who can teach them something okay and so what is it that we should be teaching them stay clear stay connected give them the language so they know how to state their needs because often parents are modeling the wrong thing I mean sometimes when I listen closely to parents the children are mimicking what the parents have done. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a big problem. And I think that that's what we have to be more aware okay, of. But sometimes you know, when you hear that and you're in that exchange, your emotions escalate. Right, right. So how do we get yeah. a handle of that? Listen, have a parental timeout. Or be aware that this child is trying to coordinate uh, tons of emotions and their needs as adolescents and that's a difficult thing so until they can coordinate that there's always going to be risk so go in knowing that slow the pace of the conversation tell them I'm willing to listen but only when you can tell me what's really going on well, and it doesn't help to, to be able to say to your young person mm -hmm. you just don't respect me right I mean is that a, a well, reasonable thing to no, say listen no? what, what, what do we, we understand use, what that is right, what, what, what is respect we <laughs> use respect as a catch for compliance, efficiency, do what I say. And that's not really the whole story here. I think back in the day when we were growing up, there wasn't much else. You know, you did what you were told or you were punished. Mm -hmm. Today, kids expect more from the world, but we're not giving them the right script of how to get it. So respect should be about how do you stay engaged with someone, have regard for what they're saying, but not attack verbally and parents have to learn that script as well and until that happens if there's going to be a lot of friction there and it helps not only with parents but in real life as well you bet all right Trish thank you so much quite welcome so for more on Trish's advice and information on her book parenting 2.0 you can go to cbsphilly.com and click on to talk Philly we're coming right back